This is Hayes Q Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. This is HQ Videos for you. And today I'm actually dropping out some packages, one from my man Movie Edge, and my other one from Cal Hell. Basically they're just empty Blu-ray and DVD cases instead of throwing them away. Uh, sitting off the damn so they get better use of them than I can. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay. The lady I just passed told me, told me that the credit card machine is down. And very rarely do I carry cash. So, more than likely, I'll probably have to make uh, another trip. I'll drop one package off and get some cash and get to go to another post office and a card. But, if anything happened on the way, back from the post office. Uh, went to the post office. On the way back, went to stop at Dollar Tree just to get some Austin ends for the house. And of course, you know me, if you go to Dollar Tree, he's gonna check around to see if they have maybe a, a box or two of new movies. And maybe some old movies that maybe I overlooked. And what would have it, they had boxes full of new movies. So of course, I can just go to on Dollar Tree, I had to actually come check out a couple of Dollar Trees, and oddly enough, even more cons even, they were even more consistent than they were for Black Friday. Not everybody had the movies out for Black Friday, but every Dollar Tree I went to uh, on this day had movies out. Unfortunately, most of them I already have, but I was still able to nab a, a couple of few titles. So, you know, I am. but on that note, sit back relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. And yes, I'm going to check out what, what this particular Dollar Tree has. And for all you really not on top of Dollar Tree and some of the titles they have, yeah, some of the titles might be trash movies, but some of these titles are actually pretty good. And I actually want to list, just have people list some of the movies I watch and where I got them from, if it's like streaming net. Netflix, Hulu, or if I got it from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> like on Sundays, I like to watch a lot of Dollar Tree until early, maybe 8 or 9 o'clock, and I might watch until like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. On Sunday, I watch Bad Kiss of Crestview Academy, The Great Buck Howard, Poker Night, Pie Whack It, Real Live, or Real, or Real Live, R E A L I B E, and Rigor Mortis. All those are Dollar Tree titles. Rigor Mortis, I'm not sure if I got that at the Dollar Tree, but I've got the pawn shop and I have some Rigor Mortis at the uh, Dollar Tree and uh, videos. Fantastic movies, just paid a dollar for them, so no discount Dollar Tree movies. And as I brought this box right here, probably what you see in the box is probably the majority of all the Blu rays that they had in the area. The order that was new, I haven't really seen that pop up recently. Good neighbors, Jonathan, I've seen those high voltages all orphan force. Stored it. Yeah, a lot of these I already picked up stage fright. Gangster, I haven't watched that yet.
Conan, Story 24, good movie. Ideal Home, haven't watched that, haven't watched Jonathan yet. Good Neighbor is a really odd movie. E13, good movie. Haven't watched that, haven't watched that yet. Have that, haven't watched it. Not a bad movie, Recall the Nine Lives. If you're letting I have this, but I haven't watched it yet. Robocop, of course, is a classic. Thank you, Sheriff. Sure. Horrible movie. Horrible movie. And with the box, I'm just going to give you the highlights of what's in the boxes. Because, again, you watch some of my other videos where I show what's in the boxes. It's pretty much the same thing. So, again, just with a few exceptions. Same thing with this. Dollar Tree Hall. And so it's, it's pretty much the same thing, except I will find one Blu ray or DVD that I didn't see the other one. So it was kind of like a, almost like an Easter egg hunt. And bingo, here they are. And unlike Black Friday, the movies are relatively easy to find. I kind of went almost right to them. Hill song. I saw someone had this in their video. In their video, they picked it up. I had no idea what this was. I think it's Christian rock. I have nothing as Christian rock. I have nothing as rock and roll. Just not my thing. And onto the next Dollar Tree. This one usually has the movies that when everyone else has them out, so they're pretty consistent. I usually can pull one or two out of here after I've been to the more popular ones that have more of the movies. So that's what we have in here. And they have them in at almost the same spot as they did last time. And they don't look like they've been picked over. So. Yeah. I also like to bring attention to what I'm wearing. If you notice my sleeve is kind of a pullover dark color pullover sleeve. It's kind of a chilly day that day. Uh, I have black Nike fleece sweatpants on and uh, black Nike shoes and a black baseball cap. And I'm mentioning this for a reason, so, so bear with me for a second I explain why I'm here explaining what I'm wearing. A lot of these titles, All I See You, Diablo, I picked a lot of these last time. I haven't watched them yet. Boss is too funny movie. Getable Surveillance, kind of that time visions. Serious Moonlight. And a lot of these I picked up on Friday. 
contract who already had that. I did see some different DVDs that I didn't see last time, but not a whole lot that was necessarily my taste. Pay attention to that nice little lady in the white with the shopping cart. You'll, I'll explain her in a minute too. I have to excuse my glasses and my glasses kind of tucked into my shirt which is hanging over the camera so excuse my glasses and I haven't seen that before. I have an interesting story about a uh, in my freshman year of high school. So that's a uh, different day and time. why I brought up what I was wearing because what's my videos I've been to a lot of Dollar Trees and the normal attire for Dollar Tree employees what I've seen is usually khaki pants and green shirt I don't know why the fuck she thought I worked there but if you have a clue please leave it in the comment I have my suspicions though but I don't know that's just me Okay, they got that last time. I've seen a lot more kids movies than I did last time. Kids titles I didn't see before. Next to finding the life of the sci-fi movie, Spider-Man 2 on Blu-ray. store I went to there was something to this effect. Different store. Not as many boxes. Oh, six boxes. And I have just bought all of these that I would be interested in already. Next door, same thing.
Thank you. We are back at the Black Cave and it's a brisk Saturday morning in Florida, 55 degrees. Went to the Dollar Tree Thursday and have had a chance to scan these in and uh, go over these. So give me a second, let me get these scanned in, get the wrappers off and as usual, we'll get into this. I have everything scanned in into my CLZ, that's Charlie Lima Zebra Movies app, and let's get into it. As I look through the titles here, looks like the majority of these are Momentum and a few Shout and E1, but I'm going to start with one that actually is not mine, a little stocking stuffer for my mom. A Closer to God 4 feature film uh, starring Mike Tyson's ex-wife and I'm trying to see if I recognize any of these people a little light here that's a little better recognize him he's been in a few movies Church Girl Dion Shepard Psalm 23 Redemption and Heaven Ain't Hard to Find. Okay. As for my mom, hopefully she'll like that little stocking stuffer for Christmas coming up. <clears throat> Next I have a Danny Trejo. Excuse me, Danny Trejo Trio. Trejo Trio. Trejo Trejo. Danny Trejo Triple Feature. <clears throat> 513 degrees with a I think I have on Blu-ray that I got at the last Dollar Tree drop. Ballad of Angels, which I've never heard of, and Babysitters Beware. I think I've heard of it somewhere. I think that's supposed to be a comedy. But Danny Trejo has to be one of the hardest working men in Hollywood. I like to refer to Danny Trejo as the Black Samuel Jackson. But that have all this on one disc. Trejo Trejo. Next, we have Michelle Williams, Christopher Plummer, and Mark Wahlberg, and All the Money in the World, inspired by true events of the Getty kidnapping. And um, I've seen previews of this, or trailers of it. It looks, it looks like a thriller, and you see more interesting since it's based on a, a true story. And I don't do um, spoilers, but it's my understanding that the grandfather Getty was like, I'm not giving you shit. I don't care if your grandkids, if my grandchild is a kidnapped or not. That's all I know about the plot though, but that's kind of a cold thing. Um, all the money in the world. And also comes with the digital, so I'll see if this works. Next we have Asher. I think I have this on like on a multi-disc, but I didn't have the actual uh, cover art. I don't like Ron Perlman, so uh, I believe this is an action, maybe cop thriller movie. This is a momentum release. And the nice artwork. 
Let me see momentum release. Momentum, yes. Asher. Next, I actually saw a trailer of this. Uh, I think I was having a Dollar Tree Sunday and it seemed like every trailer that I saw, I was like, I got that, I got that. I didn't have this, so it looked interesting. Uh, Britt Robertson asked me anything, Christian Slater, Justin Long, and Martin Shane. I think this is like romantic comedy. It's not rated E1 release. Ask me anything. Ashura. Out of all the Dollar Trees I went to Thursday, I only found this in one Dollar Tree. Very nice. Has a slip cover, um, raised print, and it's a new company I've never heard of. CJ Entertainment. And at this particular Dollar Tree, they had I think two or three uh, from the CJ Entertainment. So I haven't watched the movies there, but they look like they might actually be halfway decent. Ashura, City of Madness. And it comes with a nice slip cover. Next we have a Shout Factory. Charlie says. And don't recognize any of these names. I wonder if Sosie Bacon is related to Kevin Bacon. Suki Waterhouse, that sounds familiar. A female crazed into arguably the most notorious crime spree in American history. Um, from the writers, direct, writers and directors of American Psycho. If, you, if you've never seen American Psycho, you need to check that out. That's kind of Christian Bale to me in his true form. That's just my opinion. I don't know anything about Christian Bale personal life, but he played that, that role very well. But Charlie says, and I'm guessing this is um, about Char Char um, Charlie, Ma Charlie Manson? Charles Charlie Manson. Charles Manson, uh, the uh, serial killer from the 60s, early 70s. Charlie says, excuse my speech today. I, I don't know, Saturday, I guess my tongue is taking the day off, so. Curse of the Phoenix. And this is a, what is this? Oh, BBC release, so. I guess after watching Dirk Gently, I'm a, a little bit more open to watching the BBC. I really like Dirk Gently a lot, so. Hopefully, a lot of the BBC movies that I'm picking up will be on that on that same scale or level. Curse Phoenix, it looks like a horror picture on a old ship. Next we have another BBC release, Days That Shook the, that shook the World. And this is actually the second installment. So I hope I can look up and find the first one. It looks pretty interesting. <clears throat> I just have some of the epic disasters. And if this is a two death series, oops. And it probably, by the looks of it, double sided. Yeah, double sided, so. Odd stuff for one buck. Days that shook the world. I guess I picked up more BBC than I realized. I believe this is my third or fourth Doctor Who movie that I have. The first two I have, or at least two of them are 3D, but I haven't watched any yet. And every time I see Doctor Who, uh, I know it comes on Pluto, it's like, it's like a different Doctor Who, so I'm really not that familiar with the storyline. But from the longevity of it, it must, it must have a pretty decent following, so it must be, or possibly uh, uh, somewhat decent to watch. So eventually I'll get around to watching some of this Doctor Who. Next we have Forbidden Empire, and this just looks like kind of a fantasy, maybe kind of Lord of the Rings type of movie. This is an E1 release.
Forbidden Empire. And so far, all of these are all blind buys. I haven't seen any of these. Fort Bliss. Uh, like Michelle, uh, Michelle Monaghan. I've seen her in a lot of stuff lately. I'm not familiar with Ron Livingston. It looks like uh, maybe a post-war movie. Dealing with the possibly the after effects, or maybe it's a war movie itself. I got a mostly from Michelle Monaghan. I like her. She seems to be a pretty decent actress. Fort Bliss. Next, we have Frankenstein, and this is a BBC. Yes, a BBC release. So I guess this is the BBC version, <coughs> modern version of Frankenstein. Yeah, a lot of these are broken cases. Not that I care. Get rid of the cases, over. Next we have Friend 2. I believe this is an Asian action film, maybe a Asian mafia mob film. And I guess this is a, nope. It's another uh, CJ Entertainment. So I'm wondering if CJ Entertainment is going to be the next big drop that we see for the next uh, Dollar Tree. Next we have him. His gift could be a curse. And this is an ITV release. I know there's some time related to, I think, E1 possibly. Nope, there's another BBC. A lot of BBC movies in this. I didn't realize it until now. Him. Next, we have another Momentum release, Ingenious. This looks a lot like Descent, or maybe they kind of feel where they're going to the cave, and they look very similar to the monsters in Descent. Ingenious. Excuse me, indigenous. Uh, indigenous. Reading is fundamental. Indigenous and not momentum release. Next we have Kat next we have Kathy Griffin. She'll cut a bitch. I have mixed feelings about Kat Kathy Griffin. Sometimes I think she's funny, sometimes I find her somewhat annoying. But for a buck and for a shout release, I'll definitely give her a, a, a try. I, I kind of like her little D-list stick she had for a little bit. And it was rather funny, I, I, I guess. Nothing back on the back cover, just pink. And you have the chapters. And do I have any of these? Nay. Inside the actor's studio day spell. What am I getting that? Kathy Griffin. Uncensored. She'll cut a bitch. Next. I love kid fantasy movies though. Uh, the Magic Kids. Three Unlikely Heroes. This is a Viva release. I believe by way of Sony. Sony. And it just looks like kind of a fairy tale type of joint. Magic Kids. Uh, what's this? If you haven't checked out, I don't know if it's Tubby or Tubby. Tubby has some really cool shows on there. Uh, Aunt Boy, I saw a lot of those at Dollar Tree. I saw this at Dollar Tree. I saw Aviators at Dollar Tree. Didn't pick any of that. I saw, I saw this at Dollar Tree. Just, I don't know, just didn't pick those up. <clears throat> Magic Kids. Next, this is another CJ Entertainment Marshall of uh, Asian action film. Not familiar with any of these styles, but stars. But nice subcover with the embossed printing. Try to get this out. Nice sub cover. I 
and you have the Blu-ray Master. Yeah, a lot of these Asian action films are pretty decent. I don't know why they have to slash the cover though. Why do you guess what? Anyways, next, I was on the fence of getting this and I realized it's a buck, so why not? I love uh, Donald Sutherland, Kiefer Sutherland Daddy. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez is in here. I'm not familiar with this kid. Milton's Secret. This is a momentum release. And it looks like a, a drama, maybe. Milton's Secret. What's this? Oh, interesting. Next, I only found I only saw this at one Dollar Tree. Misery loves company. Excuse me, excuse me. Misery loves comedy. An engaging, often hilarious look behind the clown's mask. Uh, Jimmy Fallon, Amy Sch Schumer. But I don't think it's that funny. Uh, Steve Coogan. Jim Gaffigan, Tom Hanks. And this is a Tribeca film release. It's a Cine, Cinedigum, Cinedigum. Misery Loves Comedy. This looks like a suspense thriller. Uh, new with Luke Goss, like Malcolm McDowell from the classic movie Clockwork Orange. Enough new with Brian Bat, Mississippi, Mississippi Burner, Mississippi Murder. Wow, I can't talk to them. Secrets can kill. The truth kills too, but. Um, and this is who released this? Enough new with that. T and D. Or is that this one over here? I'm not sure who released this. SP, I guess. Mississippi Murder. <clears throat> so the Blu-ray, Blu-ray with Robert DeBall, A Night in Mexico. The Cowboy Ain't Done Yet. Looks like uh, maybe a thriller, suspense thriller. This is a Phase Four release, Phase Four film. And don't know who else is in here besides Robert Duvall. One Night in Mexico, Blu-ray. Another Momentum release, The Offering. Uh, horror, possibly Possession. Another Momentum release. We have another CJ Entertainment. Looks like a war Asian possibly action. Battle for is that Incheon? Incheon? Operation Chromite. And nothing with any of these. Well, Liam Neeson, huh? I just caught that. Liam Neeson. Interesting. And again, this is just um I might have seen a couple copies of this, but I think they were mostly on DVD. You didn't see a whole lot, maybe a couple Blu-rays of this one. Operation Chromite. Next we have another BBC. Uh, this is a series. Seems like I watched a couple of series of this streaming. Interesting, I think it's uh, an apocalyptic television series, Outcast. And I don't know, well, this is the second season, so. I'm assuming it went at least two seasons. And this is a three disc set. What's this? This one. This two. And this three back there. 
BBC Outcast. I actually got this earlier this year on DVD and happy to upgrade to Blu-ray for just a buck. The Pirates of Somalia. And I'm guessing this is somewhat similar to Captain Phillips, I'm guessing, kind of deal with pirating. Uh, no, Melanie, Melanie Griffin, of course, Al Pacino. And that looks like the same guy from Captain Phillips, but I'm not positive. This is an Echo Bridge release. I now have the DVD and the Blu-ray to the Pirates of Somalia. Next we have Pocket Listening. It looks like a suspense thriller. Basically got it for the late Burt Reynolds and Rob Lowe. Not familiar with Jessica Clark or James Jurdy. This is a Moment Momentum Orion release. It looks like Orion's making a comeback. Usually I think of a line, I think of, of the old VHS days. Pocket listening. Next I have the shadow effect. I actually saw this on Hamilton Books. I think they have a Blu-ray of this. So maybe I can actually catch a Blu-ray copy of this next year possibly. Um, Jonathan Wise Myers, the name sounds familiar. The shadow effect. Another momentum release. And this looks like possibly a sci-fi thriller maybe. Or just a thriller. The shadow effect. Next we have an action thriller. And if you're not familiar with the MMA or UFC, MMA mixed martial arts, this is Chuck Liddell former UFC light heavyweight and Tito Ortiz and he's a former light heavyweight champion also UFC when I'm marrying a porn star who is now some kind of right wing pundit I, I can't make this shit up yet kissed by this uh, porn star and also she's this right wing chick to each his own it's okay to I, I won't go there with the porn star thing and you have Danny Trejo Silence here. Next, I could, um, the scan didn't recognize this, and when I looked it up, it was in the uh, COZ Movies app library, the source. Uh, I'm assuming it's kind of a documentary dealing with the war on drugs. This is a I'm not sure who releases. I have no idea who released this. Pure Flix. Maybe that's who it is. Source. Documentary on the war on drugs. And I've seen this trailer on uh, one of the other Dollar Tree movies I got. It looks silly. So for a buck, I figured maybe I put in just one of those silly silly ass movies I'll pop this in the starving games it's a BBS release and just a spoof on all the action films Avengers Hunger Games the starving games actually very happy to pick this up because of the last Dollar Tree, Tree drop I picked up straight out of Oakland 2 so I have straight out Oakland 1. And just because there was a sequel, I'm not thinking there's any kind of great work of art though, but it might be decent. I've been surprised by some of these Dollar Tree movies that have been very, very good. So maybe someone will surprise me straight out of Oakland. It's an E1 ITN release. Next we have another CJ Entertainment. This is the covers remind me of this old Jet Li movie, which I can't think of the name of it. Uh, 
Contract Killer. This cover reminds me a lot of the Contract Killer Jet Li movie. And it looks like an action Asian movie. Another CJ Entertainment. Nice slipcover, beautiful slipcover. And not familiar with this star at all. But doesn't mean anything, it's going to be a pretty good action film. And just got the DVD Veteran or Veteran. Next, this looks like a suspense thriller, Rust Creek. I have seen that usually comes out with some pretty decent stuff, so that caught my eye. As well as being a shout scream release. This one being a scream release. I'll say one of those survival get away from the redneck movies. Rust Creek. Next we have looks like it's a zombie, possibly I don't know if it's a zombie, an apocalyptic Asian mob film. It's a momentum MGM release. The Kasu Apocalypse. I hope there's some good action. Some good sword martial art action. Next, we have another IFC Midnight release. Fans of Babadook, 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 and the witch are likely going to fall under the pitcher's cold spell. We'll see. The Wind, Demons of the Prairie, and it's another screen release. And we have a nice slip cover. The Wind, Demons of the Prairie. Nice slip cover, nice cover. And don't recognize. She looks somewhat familiar. And lastly, witchcraft. Evil never dies. Ain't that the truth? Just kind of sticks around and just kind of reforms itself. And another BBC release. So this is my end of the year Dollar Tree December pickup. You know what time it is let me release these dvds and blu-rays from the plastic cases and put them in my folders along with the artwork hold on okay i have everything laid out ready to go back in its proper place as usual i appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy schedule to hang out with me uh, if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for like share subscribe help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers uh, i hope you guys have a very very merry christmas Hopefully, well, I'll get to the New Year stuff till next week. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Peace. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up too.